Hey YouTubers, this is Dave Funk. Let me take these off here so you can see my pretty big blues. Um, Bible prophecy. This is probably one you're not going to hear too much about. Uh, I hope that uh, what my concerns are are echoed by other people uh, within the Bible prophecy realm. But this is an interesting one. Let's talk about responsibilities here, okay? If I am the father of a parent, it is my responsibility, especially in the Lord, to train my child up in the Lord, okay? Various job professions require a certain degree of responsibility. I work in the automotive repair, and it is my responsibility if I see something I am to tell the customer, especially if it's concerning their safety, hey, this is a safety issue. You got a tire here, it's about ready to blow out. I don't recommend driving it. I have to write this, document it, put it on a piece of paper, and uh, verbally uh, acknowledge, you know, to the customer, hey, this is what's going on. This is what needs to happen, okay? Now, just so you know, I'm a thorough believer that God's idea of what we are responsible for, hands down, it tops all of them, okay? Anything that we are responsible for, we hear, we see, if we're to inform people of uh, warning, impending judgment, impending danger, God's uh, accountability chart is a whole lot more different than what we perceive. Now I'm going to wrap this up here and, and, and bring it to home, okay? I was listening to uh, a gentleman, he was saying that you can't unhear what you've heard. You can't unhear it. You can forget it. You can dismiss it. Usually what people do, if it's of some importance, they'll actually investigate it, find out if it's true, be a responsible person, and then take the necessary actions, okay? Again, I'm talking about what does God expect you to do, and you better be, you better be thinking about that, because all all the rules go out the door when it comes to just man, and it's only what God deems fit that you need to release information. So you can't unhear what you've heard, and I have endeavored to warn people about the impending judgment that's coming upon the world, that's coming upon the nation. What I've told people, you listen to my videos, you can't unhear it. You know, you can't unhear it. Here's what I believe. I believe it's stored. I believe that in the in time, it is a documented way better than what your little uh, documentation on any legal paperwork you got. Divorce papers. It was heard in court. The court uh, uh, transcriber. It is what God sees is far more credible and will be, in my opinion, will be documented as evidence either for or against us. Okay, so that being the point, that being what the situation is, if I discuss with you and tell you, hey, there's something on the horizon of apocalyptic nature, you could sit and say, that's not my responsibility. I don't have to tell anybody. I don't need to say anything like that. Now, I think, you know, there's ways that you need to tell people. You don't just need to, you know, tell them, hey, you know, you're going to die and go to hell. I don't believe in just saying that. I believe that an element of love needs to be in there. And the Lord gives you the words to say. My thing is, is this. You have a responsibility and you're not going to skate it. You can't get away with what God has deemed as your responsibility. So if you want to wash your hands and say, you know what, it's not my responsibility to tell people about the things that are happening, the giant hailstones, the tsunamis, the dead fish, uh, the judgment. If you really, really, really think that you're not responsible for telling people about it, you're 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 deceived. You're deceived. Because what you know, you're accountable for. Oh, gee, officer, I didn't know that the speed limit was this much. Guess what? You took a test. You drove on the highway. 
You know what the rules and the laws of the land are. You know you're not going to get by with it. How much more do you think the Lord God who has implanted a conscience, which if it gets seared, like with a hot iron, he didn't do that, you did it. And the thing that sears a conscience is a selfish behavior, selfish or fear. If you're afraid or you're selfish and you don't tell people about this stuff, you know what? I don't think that's going to change much the decision and the judgment against you who sits on information and doesn't tell them. I really don't care what you think. I care about what God thinks. And it is His decision. It is His glory, His majesty that I have to answer to when I go to meet Him on my final day. So I would just encourage you, you know, you, you might want to you might want to uh, chew on some of these words a little bit and say, you know what? Do I have a responsibility once I hear of these things to number one, investigate the truth to the fullest extent? You shall what? Love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your strength, all of it, all of it. Don't withhold back anything. And by loving him means to obey him. What is your responsibility? And then what will be your legacy? What report will you give the Lord? And don't even try to lie to him. Because I didn't know that I was supposed to tell people that. I, don't even try to lie to him. Don't try to lie to him. Anybody who I think would even try to utter a lie in the presence of the maker of the universe, is it's futile. Resistance is futile. Anyway, you know what? I've, I've pushed your buttons enough. Guys, if this isn't serious, I don't know what is. And you don't have a lot of time to be contemplating this and thinking about it. You really don't. But you know what? I know that I know that I know that if you're really in God's face and ask Him what your responsibility is, I already know what the answer is. I already know. Because He loves people and does not want them to die and go to a terrible place. I pray you listen to my words today. I pray you take action. I pray... In Jesus' name, that you will take this whole thing serious. God bless you. Have a great day.